and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing April favorites and yes, it's a little bit delayed, I cannot deny it, but I wanted to share these products with you because time doesn't really exist anymore, right? It's just like these are just my favorites for the past who knows how long. But anyway, I've really enjoyed being able to just sit with my collection a lot more and I find that I'm really reaching for products that are just kind of like feel good, favorites, always like to reach for them. I'm doing kind of like a variation of the look I have going on right now because just my feel good face. Um, so I have a lot of my favorites on today, but let's start off with a little adornment, shall we? And these beautiful products were so kindly gifted by Ana Luisa, but this is not a sponsored video. They just gifted me these products and I'm sure you all have heard a lot about Ana Luisa because um, they, first of all, make products that are completely sustainable. So they use 100% recycled materials in all of their beautiful creations. Um, the price point is super, super fair. They have things as low as $49 and upwards, but still like nothing crazy. And the quality is absolutely gorgeous, like totally blown away because you guys know I wear a ton of costume jewelry. I mix in very few more nice pieces so you could just really, really tell a difference and their jewelers are the same as Tiffany and Louis Vuitton. Little fun fact for you, I was like kind of blown away by that. But anyway, um, first of all, I wanna share with you the packaging because the package alone feels like Christmas. I am in love with it. So it comes in this adorable little navy blue box. It says Ana Luisa across the top and it slides out like a little drawer. And so I got three items here. Of course, I'm only wearing two because another is a different pair of earrings, but everything is packaged in these beautiful velvet pouches, um, which I put my things back in there and that's how I use it. I will reuse this box because my jewelry migrates around. I can't promise it'll always end up in this box, but I think this box is also really great for traveling, you know, just kind of put your jewelry in here and keep it around so it doesn't get all thrown around in the bag because I know, I'm sure a lot of you, I'm just itching to travel, um, be, you know, just from being cooped up inside. So. When I first went on their website, I was like, okay, yeah, definitely need some earrings um, because earrings are my favorite piece of jewelry to wear. You all know that next to rings, I think. Um, but anyway, I want to start off with this really nice pair of hoops that I have on right here. Um, so I'm just wearing like they're a good medium size, relatively thick hoop. You know, I am a hoop earring girl and I have a lot of just costumey ones, they don't last the test of time. I have to constantly replace them. I have been reaching for these nonstop and it's because I really like that these are a little bit more thick, but they're still not, they're not as big as what I usually wear. So they're a little bit tasteful, but still a little bit more noticeable, I think. So I really, really love that. And then I wanted to go for more of a statement item because they do have a lot of really beautiful wearable pieces. And I also wanted to share this with you all because they did offer a 10% discount code for um, for all of us that I will include in the description box down below. And I know Mother's Day is like super creeping up on us. So I don't know if it will get there in time, but again, time is not of the essence anymore. Who even knows what time is anyway, or just treat yourself to something really nice is what I'm trying to get at. So I got these really beautiful hoops. I'm wearing these the most, I think, cause they're just kind of my go-to but I wore these in a shot my stash video and on my Instagram and they are these beautiful circular gold and then circular marbled earrings. And that shade of blue just totally speaks to me. It's giving me very like chic artist is kind of the vibe I was getting from that. So I really wanna style these up. I think I'm actually gonna style them up today because I got a new pair of pants that I think they would look great with. But I love that though these are not the biggest earrings I own because you know I wear some pretty big earrings. Um, it's that pop of color that just really makes them and they're just really, really funky and different. And then the final piece that I got, and oh my God, there's so much more I want. I think I am gonna purchase a few more pieces of my own. But finally is this necklace that I'm wearing here as well. And it's this thick, um, more collared kind of beaded necklace. And I love this because it's a really great length for layering. So I have it matched here with just like this little, you know, cheapy moon thing I have, but it's really easy to mix and match because this sort of does all the talking. And I picked all gold pieces because I am a gold jewelry girl. But what I really love about all of them is just like, you could wear this with anything. I'm wearing them, you know, all styled up together, which I really love. Wear with jeans and a t-shirt, especially those more funky pair that I got. But anyway, totally impressed. 
really amazing company. The packaging is beautiful and the quality of the pieces is absolutely to die for. So I love, like I said, 49 bucks and up. We do have an additional 10% um, coupon code that they gave me, which is super cool. So if you want to grab anything for yourself, I highly recommend it. I think accessories are the spice of the outfit. They can take it to another like a totally different dimension and I love accessories. I'm so happy to have some nicer quality ones. Um, so I'm definitely gonna be jumping on the website and purchasing some more. They have some pre-layered stacks. They have it all. I'm sure you all have heard about them, um, but they are amazing. And I'm gonna have what I purchased linked down below for you. But like I said, not sponsored, just one of my favorites for the month. I've been wearing them to death since I've gotten them and I'm really, really pumped. And I know you all like the earring situation. So these are a great, great pair of hoops. All right, so let's move on to a little bit of makeup, shall we? I get excited about the jewelry. You will have noticed me wearing these on my Instagram and stuff like that and I can't help it. I'm a total creature of habit these days and the makeup shows that as well. Let's start off with one. This one has been in my collection for a while, but I found a new way to use it that I am totally obsessed with, and that is the Ritual Defee Inner Glow Cream Pigment in Lust. So it's a cream product, and it looks like this scary, kind of dark, chocolatey, plummy, what do I do with this? First of all, it looks beautiful on the cheeks, looks amazing on the lips. That was kind of the way that I was really wearing this product. But then in a video, I sat down and really experimented with using them on the eyes, cheeks, and lips because that's how they are stated that they can be used. And I was kind of like reluctant. Cream products are really difficult in the green beauty space because a lot of these natural oils just make the products crease. But these have a really unique, relatively thin texture. And when I started messing around with them on the eyes, so beautiful, you guys. I don't have it on my eyes today because I'm using a bunch of other stuff that I have here mentioned, um, but I'll link the video down below where I use this. I buffed this through the crease and sort of built it up a little bit. Did not crease, gorgeous color, and really, really quite a versatile shade as well. So I love it. You can use it on the cheeks and lips, but my preferred use for it these days is actually right on the old eyeballs. Very, very surprising favorite. I still have yet to try it as an eyeshadow base. I'm curious about that because this is like the least creasy cream formula that I've come across. So per usual, I just wish they had more shades. They, they're all matte shades, these Inner Glow Cream Pigments. I think it's so you can get the most variety and most use out of them. Um, but I would love a good shimmering shade. So here's to hoping on that. Let's jump into a little body product. Let's kind of go everywhere. This was actually recommended by Tati, and I use Nubian Heritage products forever ago. I remember they sent me some stuff, and I remember I used all of it. I really enjoyed it, like a shower smoothie and some body lotions. I'm like a body lotion freak. I am really good about moisturizing when I get out of the shower. But anyway, this is the Honey and Black Seed Body Lotion. <gasps> the smell is next level. It's this really musky, not, yeah, musky, but like smoky, but a little bit sweet. I forgot what she compared it to. I think she compared it to like Tom Ford or something like that. And it smells super expensive. I kind of know what she's getting at. But besides it smelling absolutely amazing, I love to just slather this on my body when I get out of the shower. Um, it's a really nice cream formula. Um, so it's really, really nourishing and hydrating. And my legs get really dry when I shave. And we all know I'm like a wildebeest. So I need really intensive moisture and this fits the bill. The price is right, the smell is beautiful, the ingredients are great and um, I will have that link for you down below. Um, I actually didn't purchase this online. I went to like my local vitamin store but I bought this pre-quarantine. So I'm sure you could still do like a curbside pickup. I got this at like GNC which I think are like everywhere. Um, but anyway, I'm obsessed. Cannot get over the smell. I'm sorry I'm so awful at describing it. Um, they didn't really describe it on here either. So just trust me on this one. It is great, great formula. And then any scent you choose, the formula I love. Let's go back on the makeup train. I've been really big into bronzer and I think I'm big into bronzer because I'm kind of laying out. I'm getting a little more sun. Can you tell? Say yes. Say it courtesy. Yes. Thank you so much. Um, I've just really been into slapping on the bronzer and not only do I like slapping it on the cheeks, I also love putting it on my eyes. So an old favorite. I've been dipping into the Kierweiss Basque bronzer 
quite a bit. This is a little bit more of a warm tone um, and it's a little bit lighter as well, but you can, what I like about that is that you can just kind of go in with a really, really heavy hand. I've been using this Real Techniques brush. I don't know if they make these anymore, but um, they're on a nice angle and they're super fluffy. So I just go to town putting this just everywhere you could possibly imagine. I love it. And I've actually been liking to layer bronzers. So Kosas came out with the new Sun Show bronzers. And when I first saw them, I was like, those look shiny. I don't know if I'm going to like it. And I will say they do have kind of like a top layer on them. So if you want to take a brush and kind of get that top layer off, it's a little bit powdery, that initial layer. But after that, no problems. I think the tones are really beautiful and they do have a they're a baked formula so they do maintain a lot of those creamy properties which i love i've always loved baked products um so i have the shade light and medium i have the deep shade as well but i mostly like using the deep shade on the eyes these are both great on the cheeks and the eyes as well i have both of them kind of ran through my crease just for a little bit of extra warmth but i love layering them on top of a matte bronzer just to give an extra luminous gl glow it's totally like you have been on vacation so again they're really really warm shades i will pop up like a swatch photo of all three of them for you um and the light one looks like it would be too light but layered on top of another bronzer i have been loving it and again fantastic on the eyes and then i probably use this medium shade the most frequently but they really are quite pigmented products so just make sure you go in with a lighter hand but i love the versatility i love how fresh and youthful that they look on the skin as well that's what i've always liked about that little bit of kind of glow in a bronzer i love that in a bronzer not in a contour there is a massive difference as we all know all right let's do another makeup departure we are getting into a tool all right and I've loved this for months, and I cannot believe I haven't shared it with you guys. I think I've jokingly used it on camera. Not jokingly, it's very much serious, but I make a joke. You guys, if you're hairy, you understand that the mustache comes in hot, okay? And I don't, this is meant for facial hair. This is the Flawless Pro, and it's, when I turn it on, I know you're all gonna think it's something else but it's basically like a little shaver for your face that you don't get cuts. So it's great for going over this area. So like I'll moisturize because I like to have it <laughs> almost be like shaving cream and then I'll go in and do the mustache. I'll do like this part here too because my eyebrows like grow out to my temple again. My hairy girls know what I'm talking about. I'll, sometimes I'll go in the unibrow that I'm a little bit more scared to do, but I love that you won't get cut. I haven't had to charge it once and I put this thing to work i think it's like 25 bucks i used to buy those little like eyebrow shapers this is so much better it's so much quicker it's obviously better for the environment because i'm not throwing out all these like disposable plastic things after however long if you have a mustache you need this okay you can get it at ulta i'll try to link it for you um, I'm sure I could find it. I'd rather you buy it on Ulta than on Amazon, please and thank you. But this is a light, I love, I love this. Let me just, I, fuck, I love you. I love you, you save the day. It just does what I need it to do flawlessly every single time. So that is that, okay? So I hope that you all like me sharing that. You know, I gotta, I have issues with like razor burn and like, hair and we're just getting real on this channel and admitting it. You know who actually think recommended this? The Anna Edit. So I still call her Viviana does makeup because that's when I used to watch her like all the time. Um, and I still watch her quite frequently, but she has really bushy brows. She's She is very open about being a hairy woman herself. And I think she recommended this and picked it up when she was in the States because she lives in England. But I bought that months and months and months ago and I've been using it religiously. Haven't hard to charge it once, remember that too. And it's just incredible. All right, I am talk, you guys, I notice, I've always talked a lot in videos, but I am talking even more because I'm lonely. <laughs> So I'm not having any outlet to like let all this speaking out and I love to talk about stuff that I love So that's what we're doing. Okay. Thank you. Coffee break Next up this won't come as a surprise to any of you because um, I've used this on camera talked about how much I love it professed my love for it used it on live This is the Aether Beauty Joshua tree palette and this is a fully matte completely colorful eyeshadow palette 
I reviewed this extensively, so I'm gonna keep this super short. Great pigmentation, blends beautifully, super versatile, very unique and fun. You have beautiful warm shades that I'm wearing on my eyes here today. I have this mustardy shade right there and the orange shade on my eyes, but I've done looks. I can get the most beautiful warm smoky eye. I've experimented a little bit more with the color as well. I just think it's a really fun product and it really mixes well with any of the other Aether Beauty palettes. And you know I'm a big, big fan of the formulation. Huge, okay? And um, this is a really nice addition. I would say go for it on any of their palettes. The only one that I have not tried is the Amethyst. That's the only one I've yet to try. Um, let's keep going with makeup. You all have, must have heard a lot about the new Axiology Lip to Lid Balmies. Now I posted about these on Instagram. These were also gifted to me, which was super cool. And um, I just got a little sampling of some shades. I didn't pick them, they just sent them over. So I have this trio that has champagne, oops, sorbet and rosé. Rosé just went down on the ground and now the video is complete because I dropped something in every video. But anyway, they're these little oil pastel looking products that can be used on their, on your cheeks, on your lips, on your eyes. I'm really loving that multifunctional thing right now, but I'm also really loving cream products. So I have the shade Rosé on both my cheeks and my lips here today. I've used it on my eyes and I love it. I have champagne on as a highlight today as well, and then also in my inner corner. So they're a really nourishing formula, easy to use. You just kind of paint them on your face. They kind of remind me of like the Gressa Lumiers, not in formulation, but just in that kind of very easy, very approachable kind of, you know, like arts and craftsy type of thing with makeup, which I love. But most importantly, I think they've just done such a great job with the shades. And I love that they're, they don't feel like they're difficult and they are not difficult. And I can say that from some, like, they're just so easy. I literally just paint on a bunch of product and they blend out like a dream. They're not overly pigmented. They're not too stiff. They're not overly greasy either where they feel like tacky on the skin and like your hair gets stuck in it. They're just a really great formula, really great price point as well. So they are zero waste, which I love as well. You kind of see by that wrapping. So as you use it up, you just kind of unwrap it a little like a traditional oil pastel, which I am in love with. So I'm eager to get my hands on some more shades. I think they're like 14 bucks each. I believe they're available on Credo right now. So I will have them linked down below for you, but highly recommend checking these out if you're into cream products. They are lovely. Sticking with blush, this blush I always go back to and it just looks so pretty on the skin, but you really do need to build it up. But this is the Fruit Pigmented Blush from 100% Pure. This is in the shade Pretty Naked. And when I hold it up, it's like exciting. Wow, looks like a flesh tone. But it's so much more than that. If you like Tarte Exposed, if you like any of those type of shades that really complement a contour, this is one of those shades that I can't even really get to show up on my hands. But if you go in with a really dense brush on the cheeks and build it up, it looks so natural. It looks so beautiful. And it does not compete with anything else you have going on in the face. So I have been known to really build up the eyes um, more than anything. That's my favorite thing to do. I've really been liking actually to wear a lot of blush these days. But on days where I'm going more full on the eyes, this has been the blush I am reaching for. And I just forget how much I love it. The swatch is going to do it no justice. I am wearing it in an Instagram photo, so I'll pop that up right here so you can kind of see, because the it really read really nicely on camera, and um, I'm really into the shade, and that's all there is to it. I'm really into blush these days. All right, moving right along. I'm sorry, I know the videos are long. Do we like long videos? Tell I love long videos, so I think that's why I get really carried away. But anyway, um, I have been loving this Fit Glow Beauty Correct Plus in Peach. So these are their color correctors that they've just come out with. They always had the Eye Bright, but the Eye Bright used to be in those little pots and it was a cream formulation. So they've released it in a liquid formula with the Eye Bright shade and then this peach shade as well. So I've really been liking the peach one because it's much more fleshy toned. I almost feel like I don't need to go in with concealer, but I do because 
you know, the more coverage, the better in the under eye department as far as I'm concerned. But I like this one because this one more so neutralizes it, the other one more so brightens it. And they do so you can use, they do say that you can use them in tandem, but I pref I don't like that much product underneath my eyes because I'm putting on eye cream, I'm putting on this, this, that powder, and you know I'm really sensitive about how the under eyes look, but this paired with their Conceal Plus Concealer has been wonderful. I have it underneath my eyes today, and I have genetically just dark circles under my eyes. Of course, they get increasingly worse, like, you know, if I have a lot of dairy or if I get poor sleep, things like that. But overall, I just always have a little bit of discoloration under there. And sometimes when you go in with just regular concealer underneath the eyes, it can make it look gray. So with something like that to neutralize, it can really just make your concealer work more effectively and allow you to use less concealer as well. So I've really been enjoying that product. The formulation pairs beautifully, like I said, with the Conceal Plus, which is my everyday go-to concealer. I've loved that forever. Two eyeliner options, one of the liquid variety, and I have used this here on the channel. Um, this is the Honest Beauty Liquid Liner. And I just wanted to say, I am a massive, massive fan of this. So I've used the Fit Glow, I've used the 100% Pure, I've used, um, what other liquid liners are out there that I've tried? I've used the Elate one back in the day. What else? I've used the Root Liquid Eyeliner. This one is the best, and this one I also think has the best price point. So I'm into Honest Beauty. I really want to try their cream blushes. I like how accessible they are. I think they're a great entryway brand. But I also think they're great for products like this, where maybe it's not the cleanest product in the world, but all the super clean liquid eyeliners I've tried, they're just not... They're just not as good as conventional products. And since I kind of dabble in both worlds, I'd rather just kind of meet somewhere in the middle. So I have this one on my eyes here today. I love this one because I think it is the blackest. It is the most matte as well. A lot of the natural ones I find are more shiny and if they are more matte, they kind of crack. So you have to be really sparing as far as how much products you go in with. But not only that, I also like this applicator. This is a felt tip applicator, which isn't always my favorite. I do prefer a brush tip. But with this formulation, it just works really great. And I think the wear time on this is quite nice as well. So I will definitely see myself repurchasing this product. I just wanted to put it out there in the world that I am loving it. And I've really been liking to do a little bit of a wing these days. Because I think a winged eyeliner just makes a lot of us just feel like pretty and put together. And when you kind of master the technique of doing it, you could do it relatively quick as well. So why not, right? Um, next eyeliner. You could also use the Honest Beauty one. I want to mention that as well. This one is just... The one I've been reaching for because I have it but this one's much more expensive um, just to make note of it if you already have it in your collection this is the Kier Weiss eye pencil in bright so I've noticed in the green beauty space there are not that many options as far as eyeliners are concerned at least in colorway there are plenty of black and brown options out there a lot of good ones too um, but I've only seen a nude option from Kier Weiss which is this bright one that I'm sharing here with you and the honest beauty formula I would say they're pretty comparable um, the tone of them is very comparable. Wear time on them is very comparable as well. It's just going to come down to what you have, what's accessible to you. And um, of course the ingredients in this are going to be a little bit better. So I do have this on already, but I love putting this on because it really helps reduce um, the redness in your eyes. If you get like red eyes, sometimes my eyes get really irritated and can look kind of bloodshot um, for no reason. This helps with that as well. But most importantly, it opens up the eyes. So whenever you put a shadow underneath the eyes and then you put on this um, nude eye pencil can really make your eyes look bigger. So when I'm going with like a liquid liner or putting a lot of black around the eyes, I can sign up that can kind of close them off. I really love the contrast of a pencil like this. I even love to put a really dark shade under here and then that, again, that heavy contrast makes your eyes look huge. And I've just been really liking to do it. I think it's a really fresh faced, easy peasy look. And then final beauty favorite, and then I have a human favorite I wanted to share with you. This is the 12 Beauty Hyalur Oil Lip Treatment. I've been talking about this nonstop, featured this in a couple of videos as well, but it is a hyaluronic acid um, lip oil. So it is just like my dream lip item. It is of course up there in price, but think of it more of like a lip treatment, a lip mask, but I wear it as frequently as a lip balm. What I love about it, it doesn't feel like it just sits on top of the lips. It really penetrates deeply and hyaluronic acid holds its weight in water. Um, so it's just a really great way to add some true moisture to the lips rather than this surface level kind of feels nourishing, but it does all of that. I even like the way it looks on top of lip items because it's an oil. It gives like the prettiest 
shine to your lips as well, but it has that really cushiony, plush feeling, almost like a Ficlo Beauty lip serum, but it's a, it's thinner because it's an oil. It's not more serum-y, but it's amazing. It's not overly oily. I've used some oil treatments on the lips where it feels too slidey. This does not do it. You can see it's not even breaking down my lip products. So I love that as well. Mega, mega, mega massive favorite. I'm really getting into the 12 beauty line and I'm really exploring the line and I'll kind of report back with some thoughts and feelings and things like that. Finally, I wanted to share a YouTuber favorite that I've just come across. Her name is Kate the Great Beauty. And what I love about her is, first of all, I like anyone who adds a really strong sense of humor to their to their videos. I just think it's totally necessary. I'm really over this like overly edited, overly kosher type of approach to YouTube videos. The people that I watch the most are the ones that are like really long videos that also like, they're super long videos, but also um, they're just real and raw. And I really like that. So I hope that you're all on the same page with me. I like a little bit of a mix, but I'm not the best at editing anyway. So I just, I share my thoughts in this very free, open way. But anyway, enough about me. We're talking about Kate the Great Beauty here, and she does not talk about green beauty products. She does use a little bit of those on the channel, you know, because green beauty is just getting popular now with like the Kosas and the Ilia serum foundations getting huge. I want to try that. Let me know if you think that I should. But anyway, um, I love her. She has great product recommendations. She uses a lot of Charlotte Tilbury, which I'm very interested in as well. And most importantly, she's super entertaining to watch. She goes live, just live streams like three times a week. And I really enjoy being in her live streams or just watching them after. I like how long they are. Like I said, she'll be streaming for like an hour and a half so you could watch that after the fact. But she's super knowledgeable at makeup and skincare, is absolutely beautiful and has a banging sense of humor. I mean, what? is not to love. Okay, I lied. I have one more favorite, but I like when there's a little bit of everything in the video, especially things to watch and read and do during these times. So I wanted to recommend a podcast to you all, and I love podcasts. I could do an entire video on it, so if anyone's interested in that, like all 200 of you, I get like so little views on my fashion videos and my other stuff. But anyway, um, I wanted to mention Pre-Loved Podcast, who is hosted by, who is, which is hosted by Emily Stochel, who is Broom and Daisy on Instagram. So I really like following her there because I like seeing her go live on Instagram and posting all that stuff. But anyway, Pre-Loved Podcast is just basically dedicated to all things secondhand and thrifting. So she's had Beth Jones on there, B. Jones Style, who you know I love. She had a lot of different bloggers, shop owners, vintage curators, vintage lovers, vintage collectors. She said men, women, just all different types of people on there, mothers, um, just people from all different walks of life that all have one thing in common. We all love secondhand shit. Um, so it's really interesting to kind of get into the minds of these people. They speak about their businesses, which I think is super interesting, as well as some of their best finds. But I think Emily is a fantastic interviewer. I think she is so genuinely interested in all of her guests and it's just a really fun, easy to listen to um, podcast that I find like I always walk away feeling like, like I either want to like, I'm itching a thrift, which is kind of hard right now, or like I'm itching to kind of dive into my collection or just kind of get immersed in the community because I've been trying to do that a little bit more as well. Um, but anyway, that is all from me. I hope you enjoyed my favorites. I so enjoyed sitting down and talking about them. Like I was kind of in a little bit of a funk before I sat down and filmed and this really made me feel a lot better. So thank you so much for joining me. Please, for the love of God, let me know what your favorites are. What should I watch? What should I read? What should I listen to? If you want me to do a video on all of those things as well, um, I could do that for you as well. Let me know if you like these kind of hodgepodge, everything's in it type of videos as much as I do. Um, but thank you all so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Um, catch my other videos if you'd like to watch them. I'm being good about uploading these days. You can follow me on Instagram. I'm being really good about uploading there. And I will catch you all in my next one. Thank you. Bye. Mm -hmm.